All right, boys and girls, we've got some new words to learn in academic vocabulary today. So the first word here is proceed. Proceed means to continue, to go forward. <clears throat> You'll actually hear fourth grade teachers use, these, use this term with their fourth grade students in the hallways. So when the students are stopped somewhere in the hall, the fourth grade teachers will often say, you may proceed, which means to keep going, to keep walking. Our next one is quantity. Please say quantity. Okay, now when we say quantity, you can hold up multiple fingers because quantity is the number of something. So quality is how great something is. Quantity is how many, okay? Would you rather have one really delicious cookie or would you rather have a quantity of okay cookies? The next one is reason. We kind of know what this word means. It tells us why something happens. Okay. We're going to use this a lot as we talk about cause and effect in class. So what is the reason that Prince Pondicherry's palace was destroyed? It's because it melted. <clears throat> Oops, you haven't read that yet. So I told you ahead of time, but now you know an answer for your Friday uh, Charlie Quick Check quiz. You're welcome. <laughs> um, so what is the reason? What is the reason that Barney is barking? Somebody is walking by our house. The cause, somebody walks by. The effect, Barney barks. Reply means to answer. So when you guys send me a message on Canvas, I reply to you. I answer you. If I send you a message on Canvas, I want you to reply to me, to answer me. And then we have sequence. A sequence is an order in which things happen. You are to be following a sequence for your activities on Canvas each day. The days of the week follow a sequence. They say Sunday, then Monday, then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Months go in a sequence in an order, and we're actually working on sequence and chronological order in text features or in our text structures too. So this is perfect. Um, so that sequence is a specific order. <clears throat> and our last one, you guys again should be very familiar with this word, similar. When we were comparing two texts on the same topic, we were finding things that were similar or almost the same. Here you've got two butterflies that are very similar. Okay, one is just larger than the other. And that's it. Those are our words for this week. I can't wait to do them with you each day.